What's good, wholesome community? Welcome back to the channel. You straight, bro? Bro, I went to the store to return this iron, right? You see this iron? The one that is the same one I just bought yesterday, right? So I accidentally threw away the receipt, okay? And I went up to the lady and I said, yo, they sent me a receipt to my phone, right? You know, Target Circle. And she said, oh, we can't do that. We only need to have a physical receipt. Oh, I was, I was just about to do my YouTube video. You know, it's my first YouTube video. I don't really like to say that because it sounds a little corny, but it's my first one and you just bust in here. And Maybe you might want to stick around for the video. We're talking about how to handle anger issues, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks like you kind of have some right now. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Just have a seat over there in that chair. You always know what to say, bro. That's why you're my friend. Go ahead, let me hear this video. You can listen. You can listen to me talk to my JJ Wholesome Community Squad. Okay, that's too long. We gotta come up with a name for our YouTube channel. Well, we got the name for our YouTube channel, but let's see. We're gonna call you guys. JJ Community. My name is Drew Jacob Thompson. Um, welcome to the YouTube channel. We're going to be talking about do this if you have anger issues. I keep saying that, but that's the title. It's my first YouTube video. Alright, so let's get into this. Go and smash that like button before we do it, okay? Alright. I'm just gonna wait here until they smash it, you feel me? You smashed it? Alright, let's get into the video! So, a lot of people believe that they have anger issues when they really just get upset. So if you get upset, like, often, I wouldn't call that an anger issue. Now, if you get upset and you it's an issue. <laughs> See what I did there? If you're getting angry and it's an issue, then that doesn't mean like seek medical medical attention. A lot of people think if they get angry, oh, I just need to go see a therapist. Most people is just angry. We are staying in a hotel at the time of this video for my 16th birthday. So if you could smash that subscribe button and wish me a happy birthday, I really appreciate it. You know, what was I saying? If you discipline a child out of anger, it makes them angry. Let that sink in for a second. Like, if you, if you, let's say you have a pet, right? And if you treat the pet mean and you beat the pet, I'm not saying do this, okay? But if you beat the pet, you're mean to it, you scream, you kick it. I mean, know why you'd be screaming at the pet, but if you did, right? That pet is either gonna grow up to be very, um, skittish and shy or it'll be a killer dog because that's what it's been taught this life but a lot of people most people who have anger issues are the very quiet people like you have a very quiet person who don't say much and then you make them upset and it is you really see their true colors um by the way that's a rocky reference that rocky is much better than all the creeds but there goes another example of that the bible you know what we all get some scriptures to talk about this okay let me get my bible real quick we're staying in a hotel so there's gotta be Shout out to all the Gideons placed by the Gideons. We're gonna go ahead and find some scriptures to help you guys for those of you who have anger issues, okay? I don't have anger, okay? In fact, I don't think I get angry, I get upset. When people get angry, anger is different than being upset. My mom has gotten angry, okay? Trust me, my mom is an African American descent, okay? She can get angry. All right, so we got Psalm 103, verse 8. I've never used a Gideon Bible before. I literally... You know when you have your own Bible or any other random book and you know exactly which page you're on when you're looking for something in the book or the Bible? And then you get another, the same version of the book or the Bible and you don't know where anything is at. All right, Psalm 103, verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious and slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. So I also want to talk about this. When a lot of people say that they're going to anger management classes, do not mang it. Manic is not manic. I know what it is. I know what I'm it just is. Bro. Saying. Do not manage your anger. Get rid of it. If you're managing your anger, it's always a possibility it could come back. If you 
are managing. Nobody really uses that word for anything else. I can't think of anything. But if you're managing something, you know what? Let's look up in the dictionary real quick and see what anger, not anger, um, so let's see what the word management means. All right, management means to handle or direct with a degree of skill. So you're handling it. You're not getting rid of it. If you don't want anger to come back, get rid of it. Just stop being angry. Stop it. Get some help. It's, you see, you make it sound so simple. It is very simple. Just don't get angry. Don't get upset. Next time somebody gets upset or they laugh at a TikTok that you made, you show them a TikTok, you say, hey, bro, I did this new dance. What you think? And they say, man, that is trash. That ain't the McGreedy. That's the McGriddle. What is that? And you get upset. Just so you know what. I mean, don't agree with them. If you think that what you did is great and they're just being negative, that's just negative people. You need to get away from them. But if they're just being mean to you, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Literally. It's that simple. Just do not get angry. Hold yourself back, use some self-control, and don't get angry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did you enjoy it, Montreal? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. You know, my bro's first YouTube video. I really enjoyed it, Jacob. You did really good. Good. Why don't you hit that subscribe button for me? <laughs> you guys hit the subscribe button. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I already did this outro, but it's my first video, so it's a little repetitive. Um, Let's see how fast we can get to 3 million. We're probably at like two subscribers right about now, but I want to see how fast we can get to 3 million. Okay, 3 million, that's just a good number. 3 is a good number. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, catch you guys next time. And also, we got to think of an outro. Um, we'll do that on the next video. Peace.